Lesson 19, Median Absolute Deviation. Example 1. Use the age data, question 4, from our Sierra College Elementary Statistics Student Survey to calculate the median absolute deviation and both describe and interpret the result. Well, first we need to calculate the median absolute deviation. Even though the TI-84 calculator is not programmed to do this for us, we can still use it to calculate the result. After we do that, we will then use words to both describe and interpret the result. Well, first we need to enter the data into the calculator. And question four, the age of Sierra College Elementary Statistics students, has already been entered into the calculator in a previous example, and we named that list Q4. So now that we have the data entered into the calculator, we can now use the TI-84 calculator to calculate the median absolute deviation for us, as long as we know how it's done. The median absolute deviation measures dispersion by calculating the median of the absolute value of the deviations of the data from its reference point, the median. Now that the data is already entered into a list in the calculator, we can calculate the median absolute deviation using the TI-84 calculator by first finding the median, which is found by pressing second, list, arrow to the right twice to the math menu, and the fourth item on that menu is the median. So select the median. Then you have to find the absolute value. To find the absolute value, you press the math button to get the math menu, arrow to the right once to get to the num, the number menu, and the first one, ABS, is the absolute value. So we select it by pressing enter. So now we're finding the median of the absolute value of the, now we calculate the deviations. You calculate the deviations of the data value by taking the list where we entered the data values. So press second, list, shows us a list of all the data we have. With the down arrow, I'm gonna move the highlight or the cursor next to Q4, which is question four, age of Sierra College Elementary Statistics students. Press enter to select. And then the deviation is how different the data values are from its reference point. So we need to subtract. And the reference point is the median. So then we find the median again by pressing second, list, arrow, over twice to math. And to select median, you could either press the number four or use the down arrows to put the cursor next to the median and press enter to select. And we're finding the median of the data value, so we need to tell the calculator the list where all the data values are contained. So we go back to second list, arrow down till we find the list we want. With the cursor next to Q4, we press enter to select. And now we need to press the right parenthesis to close the first set, the second set, and the third set of parentheses. Now we press enter and we've calculated our median absolute deviation. So reading off the calculator screen, we could see that the MAD or median absolute deviation is equal to one. So now we have our calculated result. Now we just need to first describe the result. The description is basically using words of the problem to report the results that can be directly derived from the data. So in this case, a description could be the median absolute deviation for the age of Sierra College elementary statistics students in the survey was one year. Now we can make our interpretation. The interpretation gives meaning or explains the result. And recall, the median absolute deviation is the value such that half of the data values are closer to the median than that result, and half of the data values are further from the median than that result. So here's an interpretation for this example. About half of the Sierra College elementary statistics students in the survey were within one year of the median age of 21 years.